In this video, we're going to show you how to remove a cassette from a wheel. In this instance, it's going to be a Shimano cassette, but the only difference to Campagnola and SRAM and other manufacturers is you'll probably need a different lock ring tool to get it off. We're going to need two tools for this job. Firstly, a chain whip tool and also a lock ring removal tool. So we've already removed the wheel from the bike. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to remove this quick release. When you remove the quick release, make sure that you don't lose these two small springs which are on either side. I always find it safest to re-thread the quick release together whilst I'm not using it. Place the lock ring removal tool into the splines of the cassette lock ring. Then you'll need to place the chain whip around one of the cogs of the cassette. It's preferable to use a cog around the middle of the cassette. The purpose of the chain whip is to prevent the cassette from turning on the freewheel as you unscrew the lock ring. There are a couple of reasons to replace your cassette. Firstly, if it's old and worn out, it will need replacing. Alternatively, if you live in a flat place and you're about to go and ride somewhere hilly, you might want to change the cassette for one with a wider ratio to provide you with some easier gears for the climbs. When you come to replace your cassette, you'll notice that on the inside of it, there are a number of spline teeth. One of these is wider than all of the others. Similarly, on the cassette body, one of the splines is bigger than all the rest. To replace the cassette, you'll need to marry the wide part of the cassette up with the same part of the free hub body. Because of this spline, it's hard to get the fitting of a cassette wrong. However, one thing to remember is that some of the cogs may well have spaces in between them. Usually the first few cogs are fixed together and the next few cogs are individual with a spacer to go between them. The final couple of cogs have their own built-in spacer. The individual spacers are splined differently to the cogs, so it doesn't matter so much which way they go on the free hub body. Some variations of free hub and cassette may require a spacer to go on before the cassette. Place the cogs one at a time back onto the free hub body. Once all the cogs are on, you'll need to start screwing the lock ring back into place. Simply turn the lock ring clockwise using the lock ring removal tool. Make sure it's not cross-threaded. It should be easy to turn. Once you're confident the threads have engaged properly, you can afford to put a fair amount of pressure into the tightening of the lock ring to ensure it doesn't come loose. The recommended torque is 40 Newton meters. Then you simply need to replace the quick release, remembering to put one of the springs each side of the axle and replace the wheel. Take your new inner tube, remove the dust cap and remove the lock ring and then partially inflate the inner tube just so that it holds its shape. Take the valve of the tube and insert it through the valve hole in the rim. 